Hey guys, Ed Haynes here from Coastal Fitness Performance Training, affiliate CrossFit CSTL. To talk to you about the Asia Championships qualifiers, we're on workout 17.4. The workout is six minute AMRAP of two, four, six, eight, ten, etc. Adding two reps every time. Handstand push-ups and front squats at 135 pounds for men, 95 pounds for ladies. Uh, in similar fashion to what we've been doing, we're gonna start with limitations. Pretty straightforward, it's a couplet, two movements. Firstly, handstand push-up technique, uh, if that, that's if we're doing kipping or strict, uh, plus your capacity endurance. Uh, if you're someone who can't do a lot of handstand push-ups or you just don't have that absolute strength pressing overhead, then obviously that's gonna be a big limiting factor for you in this workout. Similarly, when we talk about the front squat, probably have three big uh, limiters. First is your position. Can you sit in an upright squat and support a bar in your front rack position without toppling forward and having to bring these shoulders and arms into it a little bit more? Um, absolute strength. What is 135 pounds, 95 pounds relative to your one rep max? If that's a light load for you, uh, then you're gonna obviously do much bigger sets with shorter rests. If that's a very heavy weight for you, uh, then you're gonna have to think about a smarter braking strategy from the start. Obviously, endurance is also something we need to think about. You may be very, very strong and have a big one rep max, but how much repeated submaximal work have you been doing in the year, which will determine what this workout is going to feel like and how you're going to approach it. So a couple of things that's going to, uh, that we need to think about. This workout is going to be very, very different uh, according to who you are. Is, it, is muscle endurance going to be a limiter? Is your absolute strength in your front squat and overhead going to be a limiter? Is this going to be aerobic or lactic? Uh, those who are going to be able to um, move continuously over the six minutes. It's going to be very much muscle endurance and aerobic for the most part, but you're going to probably push deep in those uh, towards the final part of that six minutes, and you're probably going to dip into lactate. For those of you who handstand push ups uh, strength and front squat strength is a limiter, it's going to be much more slower pace and it's going to be a little bit more of an absolute strength type workout. Uh, pacing. Firstly, handstand push-ups. We have two options. Are we doing strict? Are we doing kipping? I'd highly, highly recommend going with kipping from the start. It doesn't save you any more time starting with strict. Even if you are proficient with strict, it's just going to gas your shoulders way more. Those of you who have done this workout, you're going to know that front squat actually uh, takes its toll on your handstand push-ups just by having to support the bar up there. Uh, handstand push-up breaking strategy. Uh, just be smart with that. Uh, the first few rounds are going to go very, very quickly and you're going to feel like Superman or Superwoman. But be smart because when you get into those bigger sets, those accumulative reps are going to suddenly hit you very, very hard in the face. And you're going to be halted by failing a rep and be stood there either looking at the wall or looking at the bar. Um, front squats, obviously the bar is going to start on the floor. Are you going to power clean it or are you going to squat clean it? In your warm up, you should be approaching that and whatever you plan to go with, that should be warmed up efficiently. Uh, front squat uh, breaking strategy, um, I've seen a lot of people go and push themselves a little bit too far where they're starting to grind out reps which brings me on to that next point. That point when you're grinding out a rep whether, whether it's a front squat or a handstand push up takes a lot out of you and those of you who've done it many times are going to know that your recovery to then come in and hit your next rep is going to be considerably longer. So it's a, I always recommend uh, avoiding that rep and stopping one to two reps before that. Unless obviously it's crunch time and you have 20 to 10 seconds left on the clock and you're just trying to get out every last rep. Definitely, um, unless, like I said, you're right at the end of the workout, you cannot be failing out on repetitions. If you're failing out on reps and a handstand push-up or can't get out the bottom of the front squat and it's only three minutes on the, on the clock, that's a very poor breaking strategy or pacing strategy. Uh, a few reminders, things to think about. Uh, starting your handstand push-ups, make sure you kick up and you start above the line. Don't rush that first rep and get no reps and have to do an extra rep. Uh, chalk, shouldn't need chalk in this workout. One chalk up on your bar at the start and that's it. Don't use chalk as an excuse to sneak in extra seconds of valuable rest. Uh, wearing a shirt, um, men and women, bear in mind that the bar is sitting on your front rack position. Uh, a slippery body and a well moisturized body is going to slip off uh, and that's going to affect your ability to hold on to that bar. Um, lifters, if front squat mechanics or squatting mechanics is something you struggle with, uh, or sorry, you're just tight, uh, I would highly recommend wearing weightlifting shoes. It doesn't make a huge difference to your handstand push-ups, uh, but if your affiliate has concrete walls, you might be taking some big holes out of them, so speak to your coach first. 
Uh, warm up, not too much warm up here other than make sure your overhead position is good. Make sure your squat position is good. Warm up the movements. Uh, make sure they're not unfamiliar when you get into the workout. But also thinking back to what your limiting factor is going to be, it's important that for those who are going to go big or go far into this workout, you're suitably warming up their aerobic system. Uh, don't just focus on doing a few handstand push-ups and front squats because very quickly you're going to be breathing very hard. There's going to be a lot of lactate buildup in the legs and the upper body. So make sure your body is primed and prepped for that. Re-attempts. Uh, I think this is definitely one we can re-attempt. Just bear in mind, 17.1, uh, there's a fair bit of knee flexion involved. 17.2, uh, knee flexion squatting with that heavy snatch. 17.3, a lot of front rack work. So these three workouts, they're all kind of a little bit similar. So think about when you want to be doing these workouts back to back and how much space you want to be doing in between re-attempts. Uh, good luck, guys. Look forward to seeing your scores come in.